Welcome to MathCast Edition 5, where we will be using the area model to illustrate the distributive property between a binomial and a binomial. If those terms are a bit rusty, then I suggest you read over polynomial definitions. Just a quick reminder that monomials are one term, binomial two terms, this is what we'll be working with mostly today, and trinomials are three terms. So again, if this is a bit rusty and you're forgetful of what those are, please pause now and have a quick read and review. Algae tiles in the multiplication array, quick reminder that positive algae tiles are represented by blue, negative are represented by red, the large squares are represented with by x squared, or the area model here. I'd also like to point out that only algae tiles, the only way algae tiles can be co in contact with each other is if they share the same length along one side. So reminder, x squared and x can meet only because they have this side in common. Over here we have an incorrect model where the ones have been stacked along one edge of the x squared term. This is incorrect. They need to be of the same length. If we fail to follow that, the algae tile model doesn't work very well. So my first example I'd like to illustrate the multiplication of x plus 2 times x plus 1. You'll also see the word expand connected with this operation. It essentially means to multiply them out. So I will put x plus 1 along the left hand side here. Remembering that these are the dimensions of a rectangle, so they essentially represent length times width, height times width, those things. So now x times x would be x squared, x times 1, positive 1x, one x, x times 1, positive 1x, one repeat along the bottom, 1 times x is x, and 1 times 1, do that twice along the bottom. And now if I tally this up, I have 1x squared term, 3x's, and 2 singles. And we can see that addition here. Noticing that the like terms combine together to give us the 3x in the middle. In this example, I'd like to multiply x plus 4 times x minus 3. This is a little different because this will be our first negative involved. So I will set up x plus 4 along the left hand side and x minus 3 along the top. When I multiply x by x, I get x squared. x times negative 1 would be negative x. And I'll have to do that calculation three times. 1 times x would be positive 1x. And again, I'm repeating that four times. And lastly, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And I have to repeat that 12 times. So when I count these up now, I have 1x squared term, 12 negative 1s, and here's our first instance where the zero principle starts to show up in the area model. So I have a negative x and a positive x. These, in essence, cancel each other out. I have three pairs, so I'm left only with a positive x on the bottom. So if we look at that from an equation standpoint, I have my x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 12. Notice how the like terms here in the middle cancel off to leave me with just plus 1x. In my final example here, we'll put two negatives together and see what happens. So I'm going to multiply x minus 2 by x minus 3. So I'll put x minus 2 on the left, x minus 3 on the top. Again, x times x x squared, x times negative 1 would be negative x, repeat that three times, negative 1 times x, negative x, repeat that twice, and now negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, so that leaves me with some positive 6s. If I bring up the expression here for the algebraic side, you can see there's the x squared, negative 3x, negative 2x, represented by the red tiles. Bring those together to get negative 5x, and the plus 6 sets at the end, represented by the blues. Okay, and if you'd like to pause the vid video right now and take a trial at this one, I will wait and then post the solution. And here's the solution. x plus 2 along the left, x minus 5 along the top. 
x times x is x squared, x times negative 1, it's a lot of negative x's, 5 to be precise, positive 1 times positive x, positive 2 x's right there, and lastly 1 times negative 1, I need to repeat that several times, and I get negative 1's. So take a minute, look at that. The solutions here, when we start to multiply out the terms, you can see how the negative 5x and the positive 2x, when they cancel off the pairs, okay, I can cancel two pairs, I'm left with negative 3x minus 12. Oops, that should be minus 10. Let's try that again. That's better. And lastly, thank you for your time. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please send an email to me at childs underscore math at yahoo.com. Thank you very much.